Gamerheads Podcast is part of the Little Fellow Media Podcast Network, sponsored by podcast host Budsprout, the easiest podcasting software for hosting, promoting, and tracking your podcast. And welcome to another episode of Gamerheads Reviews. Today, I am joined by Phil Hoff. Phil the Chef Hoff, as some might know you as, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Roger. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> Welcome. And uh, yeah, today you are reviewing a game. How do you pronounce this game? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Pass it off on me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Pawarumi, brought to us by the French company, Manufacturer 43. Yeah. So uh, so you played this on the Switch? Is I that did. Right? Yeah. Yep. But it, I think it's out on other systems, too, I right? I believe it's on the Xbox One, at least, for sure, and potentially the PlayStation 4. I didn't investigate that too heavily. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. Uh, so what can you tell us about the game? What What uh, is this game? <laughs> it's a... Uh, they proclaim it as a rock, paper, scissors, shoot 'em up or a shmup, as the kids like to say. Oh, interesting. Which kind of makes sense. Um it's your standard shoot 'em up, except that you've got three different types of well, you've actually got four different types of weapons, but you've got three different types of weapons that are your main weapons, which shoot either red, green, or blue. Oh. And all the enemies are all colored red, green, or blue. Oh. But here's the trick, and this is where things get a little a little weird in the brain, because you've gotta do some memory uh of of things. So for example, if you shoot a red enemy with the red laser it'll regenerate your shield okay if you shoot a green enemy with a red laser it'll fill your special meter oh okay. if you shoot a <laughs> blue enemy with your red laser it does more damage to the enemy than any of the other colors would <laughs> so now transpose that between the three different buttons of red green and blue and it all works the same vice versa uh-huh uh-huh so so you don't have to like so, so even if you kill the enemies with a with a with the different colors, I mean they all they all will do damage. Just that it'll do damage. Don't... Just some do more than others. And yeah. like if you've been hit, because your shield's only got three hits to it. Oh, and so like as you're shooting these, you'll if you shoot them with the same color, you'll start regenerating your shields. So that way, you can take a little bit more damage because it's a shoot 'em up, and there's bullets and enemies mm-hmm. flying at you the entire time. It's not a slow game by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. So is it's a shoot 'em up is. <laughs> So there's like there always seems to be two routes with this. There's just like an arcade style type shoot 'em up, and then there's mm-hmm. like one that might have like somewhat of a story to it. Is there any story to this game, or is it just? Uh, th- there's a story there. Oh, okay. It's all told through really nice looking actually stills that are right before the level where you oh. tell the story of the main character whose name eludes me right now. Um, but in all honesty, it takes such a backseat to everything else. This game's all about the gameplay. Ah. Uh. But there is a story there. Okay. Well, that's, I mean, it's interesting because, yeah, it, it, most games, like, it's either just like, yep, this is going to be an arcade game, and you're just plopping you in. Yep. It's, it's not quite like Zaxxon or anything okay. like that where you're working, okay. but there is zero story whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, like, you'll pop into exactly. a level, and she'll start telling the story about how her people were obliterated by whatever oh. race, and you're going to oh get revenge. And it's, like oh. I said, the, the, the stills that are there for for the story are great, but it's all, there's no voice acting. It's all text-based, so you're reading uh-huh. it, and it's... Couple of minutes worth of reading, then you get into the action. Okay, so yeah, let's talk about the the gameplay itself then. So, what's some of the tips and tops of this game? Uh, graphics are really, really fantastic. Yeah, very, very nice looking. Wow, plays really easy, plays really pretty. Uh, I mean, obviously the three different color combinations get a little confusing, but it'll tell you at the bottom of the screen when you're shooting an enemy, depending on on what button you're using, as to what your action is actually doing. Ah. So if, again, if I'm red and I'm shooting at green, like the little green thing on the side will flash saying, like, you're filling your special. And every once in a while, if you're, especially on easy mode, it'll pop up a thing like you're about to be hit by blue guys and your shield's low, so remember <laughs> to use blue. Yeah. Or these guys are really strong. Make sure you use red against them or green against them, whichever color it might be. Yeah. Uh, and of course, everything's shooting at you on the screen the entire time. Ah, uh, it's it's a, it's a shoot 'em up, man. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> does there is there any um is there any slowdown with the game at all? No, like... the, I didn't see any chugging at all wow. with the game. And at the end of every stage, there's a boss battle, which is I always oh, save cool. my special attack for the boss battle. And each of the yeah. bosses are pretty individually unique. 
and have got all three colors attached to the individual boss itself. So, I mean, you're kind of like balancing and trying to strategize a little bit and then just mm. unloading your ultimate whenever you've got it or your special whatever. Nice. Are you are you uh, are you a fan of shoot 'em ups? Just I don't hate them. Okay. Um, in my old age, my reflexes have gotten a little bit slower, so I'm not as good as I used to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me. Me too. So, uh, what about the flip and the flop? What are some things that uh... it's uh, again, the story is just kind of there. It's yeah. it's nothing to write home about. Uh, there is only two modes worth of play. Oh, There's okay. a tutorial and then the arcade slash story mode. And as I was telling you before we went on, uh, the story mode on easy mode consists of four levels. On normal mode, it consists of five levels. Normal okay. and hard, it consists of five. Um, unfortunately, I'm not that good at the game, so I didn't complete <laughs> it on normal mode. Yeah. But from what I was reading, it uh, it does give you a different ending depending on oh. the difficulty level that you're playing as. So I'm really? kind of intrigued to see what else you get out of it because I beat it on easy. I made it to level three in, in normal, if I remember right. Um, you only get one life in the game as well. Oh my. And when you die, it's a hard restart from level one. Oh no. Are you kidding? Yeah. You've, uh, it really tests your reflexes and your memory. Wow. Uh, but it, it's fun to play and it looks great. Wow. And, it's, and, and even on easy mode, does it start all the way from level one again? Um, you know that I actually don't remember cause I, I beat easy mode in one sitting. Okay. Or so I beat it, it in two, easy. but I restarted the second time. I mean, okay. it's not it's not super easy. It gives you some challenge, but it's it's still short, and you can bang through it in probably 40 minutes at the most. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, and, yeah, what was, your, what was your final grade on this game? I'd give it a rock-solid C+. I yeah. mean, if you're looking for a shoot-em-up just to go and shoot things, it's it's worth the effort. It's it's a fun little playthrough if you if you enjoy dodging and shooting and trying to get your brain to remember nine different color combinations to what you're doing. Hmm. But it uh, it's fun. Yeah, I had a good yeah. time with it. Yeah, cool. it's you're not looking at it for story. You're looking at it for being a nice little graphical masterpiece. Masterpiece might be a slight overstatement, but it's it's visually pleasing on the eyes. Nice, nice. Well, now the thing I wanted to ask is there how's the music? Because usually uh, the shoot 'em ups have really good music. How's the it's music it's there? decent music. It's enough okay. to kind of keep you in the zone and entranced. Okay. I guess my one other complaint that I would have now that I stop and really think about it is that you can only shoot forward. Oh, interesting. Yeah, almost like 1941 or 1942 yeah. if you were when we were kids. How you <laughs> yes. couldn't like there'd be enemies that were kind of circling behind you and shooting yes. at you, but there was nothing you could do about it. Yep. They were just gone. Yep. Yep. So cool. And Powell Rumi is that right? Is that what we're calling it? Yeah, we're going Powell Rumi. <laughs> okay, Powell Rumi. It's uh, available now on Xbox and uh, and Switch for sure. So. Yep, and it's it's I think it's only fourteen ninety nine. Okay. So I mean, it's not a bad price, but again, it's really short, so you'll bang through it pretty quick. And unless you're me and you don't have the reflexes that you did twenty <laughs> years ago. <laughs> All right, sounds good. Well, thanks, Phil, for joining us and no problem, talking Roger. through the game. Catch new episodes of GamerHeads Podcast every Sunday on Buzzsprout, Google Play, or iTunes, wherever you get your podcasts. Check out our website at GamerHeadsPodcast.com. <laughs>